segment of current carrying wire passes through a uniform magnetic field of 100 teslas so they're giving you the value of the magnetic field between those north and south poles and that's 100 teslas and it's directed down according to these little gray arrows that we see on the screen down and to the right what is the force present on a one centimeter segment of the wire that's actually in the field so there's a length of wire from here to here that's one centimeter long so if I go up from there to there is one centimeter and we're trying to figure out what the force is that's present so we know L one centimeter we need to have that in meters and we also need the value of the current in order to find force. We know our equation. Force for a current carrying wire in an external magnetic field is B times I times L. B is given, L is given, we've got to figure out I. Now, I is due to this external circuit where you've got a 6-volt battery and a 3-ohm resistor. So we're just going to use Ohm's law. I is just V over R. So V is 6 volts. The resistance is 3 ohms. I will be 2 amps. So this current, which I'll put in pink here, that's passing between these poles is going to be 2 amps. But remember, we want the current in the magnetic field to be 90 degrees to each other, and clearly they're not. You can see in this little picture here, I've made a little angle that's 60 degrees. If this one's 30, then this little angle right here would be 60. Okay, you guys can take a few minutes of geometry to figure that out. So if I've got 60 degrees there, that means this angle right here is 60 degrees. Same with this one. These are all 60 degree angles. This pink line represents my hypotenuse. That's my overall current of 2 amps. I want this component of the current, the one that's perpendicular. I'll call it I perpendicular. So if this is 60 degrees, then I perpendicular will be 2 amps sine 60. So I'm going to replace I. I is supposed to be I perpendicular with 2 sine 60. So now we can go ahead and solve it. My magnetic field is 100 teslas. I perpendicular will be 2 sine 60 and the length of the wire immersed between that those poles is 0 0.01 meters and when you work all of that through you get 1.73 newtons now what about the direction it's a little bit awkward because your right hand rule already assumes everything is 90 degrees to each other so when you use your right hand your thumb is the current but don't forget you want the current that's perpendicular so your thumb is going to be going along this blue line here. I'll make it blue. This is where your thumb's going to be right here, pointed to the upper right. Your fingertips are going to be pointed down to the lower left, and the palm of your hand will show you which way the force is going to be, and it should be into the page. So what ends up looking like is kind of like this little sketch right here. So your fingertips are down, your current goes in the direction to the upper right, and the palm of your hand is supposed to be a 3D diagram, should be into the page.